My name is uh, Mrs. Gill, my first name is Remy, and my daughter is in year one, her name is Reed. And I live in Thornbury and I do Indian cookery classes and I go to different schools and try to promote very healthy food. I mean, you can have you know, unhealthy food as well in proportion, but also try to encourage all the kids to kind of get involved and start cooking as well with their parents. Now we're gonna actually start shopping. You're gonna all help me and we're gonna make a really nice mixed bean salad. Is that all right? Yes! I'm brought up in a very multicultural society. I've tasted all different kinds of food from all over India. My husband is from North Side and I am kind of from born and brought up, brought up in Bengal. My sister lives in Pune, which is near Mumbai. So it's like I am, I've, I've tasted any food you get in India, all the dishes, all the cuisines. And um, when I moved to this country, I really missed the food and that's how it actually started. And, and then I started giving to my friends and they became guinea pigs. And, and that's how then I started my Indian cookery class. And um, I really like to have the pomegranate and the tomato like burst in your mouth. So when you first taste it and put it in your mouth, you're like, oh, it's okay. And then you, then it bursts and you're like, wow, this is really nice. We're going to start with butter chicken, which I marinated last night, which is marinated in yogurt. Going to add the bay leaves from my garden. Chris saw them. Fresh, everything fresh. And we're just going to cook it for one minute. If you see the oil, I did not put too much oil at all. This is what a saffron looks like. I could try in boiling hot water and show you guys. Yes? I would. Yeah, okay. The colour starts to change and that's the colour. And if you if you smell it. They do look like tadpoles, that's why I call them tadpoles. <laughs> My dad is a brilliant chef. Is, he is really, um, he enjoys his cooking and he expect, that's what he always used to teach me in, in India. He used to experiment with your food. I was the guinea pig in India when he used to experiment. And my mum used to say, you messed up the kitchen. Right, you both, get out of my kitchen now. But dad is really amazing cook and that's how I, I actually got into it as well. It's such a beautiful, colourful dish and it's yummy with pita bread. And would you all of you like to taste this later on? Yeah. I mean, cooking is about experimenting, as we spoke about, and uh, it's really enjoy if you, if you actually cook and see what you put in your, in your food, and I think it's really great. Will you be saying to mum and dad that we want Indian food? Yeah. yeah. 